Good morning everyone, MMDA back on the road. Right now they're issuing a ticket to this vehicle parked on the sidewalk and one more parked on the sidewalk over here. There's actually paid parking available in this area but a lot of people don't use it because they prefer to park on the sidewalk where it's free. But once you get a ticket, it becomes pretty expensive. And further down the road, they're issuing tickets to these vehicles for the same reason. There were a bunch of white vans here also, but they sped away as soon as they saw the team coming. And again, there is paid parking available just across the road and further along one more vehicle. And something else you'll notice with this vehicle is there's no conduction sticker and there's no plate. And same thing on the back, no conduction sticker, no plate number. And further down the road, they're speaking to the driver of this SUV. They'll be issuing a ticket. Hazard lights are on, but it doesn't exempt it from being ticketed for illegal parking or obstruction and the ticketing continues further down here a lot of taxis parked on the sidewalk the reason they're parked here is there's little eatery places where they can buy food and drink like this one over here but and if you're curious there are signs although you don't need a sign that says no parking on sidewalk because everyone's meant to know that before they get their license right now the team are trying to force these jeepneys to the side they're all parked here waiting for passengers they're asking each one now for their driver's license because there are big signs installed to say no loading unloading waiting stopping anytime but they always make that corner a terminal and it results in a lot of complaints and same thing over here most of the jeepneys did try to speed away but the team got ahead of them and blocked them they're trying to send a message to stop blocking the roads to stop turning every corner into a terminal because it causes a lot of traffic and at least one of these jeepneys already has a ticket from yesterday for the exact same reason loading unloading in this same area of course one of the problems is there's a lot of barkers in this area that flag down jeepneys and tell passengers hey go on here go on here and uh, unfortunately they are part of the problem and just in front of McDonald's is speaking to the driver of this vehicle they'll be issuing a ticket either illegal parking or obstruction or maybe both over here they're issuing a ticket to this gentleman his back passenger wasn't wearing a helmet and over here they stopped this gentleman riding without a helmet and wearing slippers so that would be a total of 2,000 peso as long as he has a driver's license if you look over here on Rohat Boulevard you see ASPU which is anti-smoke belching unit this is from the local city there are sometimes complaints about how these kind of operations are done how many rpm the vehicle should be revved to and things like that but uh typically they really are trying to get those heavy smoke belches off the road and this is one of the ways of doing that it's a little bit unusual to test newer vehicles like this but you'll see they've just connected the hose now and uh they'll rev it and then the little machine there will automatically read out and it's got a printer over there to print off a receipt well, actually even a very low rpm there's a lot of black smoke coming out of this one but like i said in other videos black smoke is just an indicator it doesn't mean you're going to fail the test it doesn't mean you're going to pass the test it's really about what the machine reads inside that smoke that's what matters over here is an example of a modernized jeepney it's got air con if you're wondering why so many people keep walking in the road that way and this way it's because buses and jeeps keep loading and unloading here even though there's so many signs saying it's not allowed although I'm thinking that maybe not all of the enforcers here know that because jeepneys keep stopping next to those two enforcers unloading passengers and they're not issuing any tickets and the last signs, wait I'll zoom out there all PUJs, no loading unloading along Rojas Boulevard Mr. Five Minutes is now speaking to the driver at this one if you look right next to this vehicle no parking, tollway zone and although many drivers of these vehicles act as if they're exempt from any road rules that's not true they can be ticketed just like everybody else the driver already handed over his license so they can issue the ticket then send him on his way and over here they're issuing tickets to these three vehicles that are being parked on the sidewalk there is some legitimate parking nearby paid parking available uh, but if you park on the sidewalk you're likely to get a ticket and because those vehicles are parked there you'll see people walking in the road so there is an immediate effect in front of Jollibee here you'll see there's a couple of cars obstructing the sidewalk and even though the team have asked them so many times they keep returning these signs here to the sidewalk they're having resistance with some of these vans they keep trying to drive away even though the team tell them to stop there you go no license impound the truck impound the van but I suspect he has a license he just doesn't want to give it so the driver's just handed over his license now so basically just wasting time with the enforcers so the driver finally handed over a license but it's expired which might be why he was trying to run away um, refusing to hand it over so you see they're just hooking that van up to the tow truck now to take it away there's a man here that's hassling the taxi driver for a tip and he's causing traffic because he wouldn't let the taxi go oh 
policeman speaking to him now. In Quezon City there's actually a local ordinance which prohibits parkers on the road. The team just stopped this vehicle here because there's no plates on the front and no conduction sticker. Apparently the car had a fresh paint job and that's why the plate wasn't on there. For me that's not really an excuse, it should have been reinstalled immediately after the paint job. Uh, but he's been let go with a warning and told to install the plate. Over here they're going to issue a ticket to this motorcycle rider. Unfortunately his passenger on the back doesn't have a helmet. They're hunting through the cars now. They saw a motorcycle with the back rider not wearing a helmet. The back rider tried to put on a helmet when he saw the enforcers but it's too late. And the helmet they're using is a bicycle helmet which is considered unauthorized anyway. Plus the one driving the motorcycle only has a student permit. So uh, the bike's going to be impounded for driving without license. The back passenger said the reason why he wasn't wearing his helmet is he just got a new haircut and he was excited. And you see they're just about to put that motorcycle on the back of the tow truck now.